Ah, St. James Gate Brewery, the heart and soul of Guinness. Did you know that in 1759, Arthur Guinness signed a lease for the brewery that would set to last for 9,000 years? You didn't? Well, let me tell you the story. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a wise brewer named Arthur Guinness. He owned a magnificent brewery at St. James Gate. Arthur was a visionary with a heart full of love for his craft. He knew that his brewery would produce the finest beer in all the land, and he wanted to continue for many, many, many years to come. So one day, he made the decision that would change the course of history. I shall sign a lease for my brewery that will last 9,000 years, so that it may remain prosperous for generations to come. And so the lease was signed at 45 pounds per year, and the people of the land were amazed. They rejoiced. They had never heard of such a long-lasting lease agreement. St. James Gate Brewery became the largest brewery in Ireland in 1838 and the largest brewery in the world by 1886, with an annual output of 1.2 million barrels. Now, the question I have for Arthur is how the heck did he manage a 9,000-year-long lease in the 1800s without a lease management software? Did he use a fountain pen or a quill? Certainly didn't use a spreadsheet. Sadly, Arthur's dream came to an end, as a lease is no longer in effect. The original lease signed in 1759 was for a four-acre brewery site. Today, the brewery covers over 50 acres, which grew over the past 200 years around the original four-acre site. Although the 9,000-year-long lease is no more, the brewery remains the largest brewer of stout in the world and continues to produce its magnificent beer, beloved by all who taste it. Let's raise a glass to Arthur Guinness. May his legacy continue to inspire us for more beer and longer leases. Happy St. Paddy's Day.